if I were to ask you who you think the clumsiest rock star is, who would, what would your answer be? Uh, well, you know, David Lee Roth comes to mind just because the way you told me the last time we saw him at the California Mid-State Fair and the stuff you told me that he used to do back, yeah. in, the, back in the 90s. And he now, used to be not clumsy, but now he's... Yeah, now he's a little clumsy. Um, let's see, clumsy, clumsy, clumsy. You do that one. But then I guess you think of Dave Grohl because he fell off the stage and broke his leg, and then you think of... Uh, who didn't, um, what's his face, uh, Aerosmith, uh, Stephen oh, Tyler, yeah, he's didn't he fall off the too. stage? Yeah, yeah. Uh, but you, he wears all those robe things that you could probably trick Okay, I'll them. tell you this much. Uh, you, you hit the nail on the head with one of them. Dave Grohl was the correct answer on that one. Yeah. Dude is always falling off stage or he, he needs to like either scale it back or take some like, what are those classes? What are the classes called when you walk with the book on your head? <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, posture, posture. Is that, is that what it's called? Yeah, that's for class? that's for good posture. They I thought there was a fancier term for that. Oh, I'm if sure you know, there is. If you I'm know what it fancy. is, eight hundred five beer text lines eight hundred five five four three thirty six. But I, I think 93. this is part of what I like about Dave Grohl. He's having so right. much fun he throws caution on into the stage wind. that he throws caution into the so wind. That's the perfect way to say it. So there was a, a consumer electronics show in in Vegas, uh, and you were watching it last month. No, I was Nerd. watching a video from. A performance that he gave. The Foo Fighters did okay. a uh, corporate performance for. I think it was Gibson. I think it was Gibson Guitars or somebody. One of the one of the uh, music manufacturers, and he did the private show for him. And so he's up there. He's doing his thing, and then he starts doing his thing. He jumps down in the audience, and he and this is an audience of like salesmen. Okay, I mean it's a it's a private gig. It's, it's not like there's a stadium they're playing to. There's like a it's like a ballroom in a in a hotel in Vegas. There's probably three hundred to four hundred people there. He gets down to the crowd. He's playing the guitar. Then he goes to jump back up on stage, and he falls off the stage, uh, and everybody's like, "Oh no, what's going on?" So I pick him up, and then he's like, spills a beer and all that. Stuff. <laughs> he's just clumsy, super clumsy. <laughs> well, the other day he showed up at the uh, Polestar Live conference. Okay, uh, Polestar, they're the ones that you know do the the concert dates and they let you know where people are playing and all that stuff. He comes walking out on stage because he's going to address the people that work at Polestar and the people that made it to this conference. Um, the I guess the people that work with Polestar as well. And he's wearing a sling. Apparently he earned himself sometime between the... It's like him and Jimmy Fallon. The, right? yeah, the Super Jimmy Bowl. Jimmy Fallon was always hurting himself, but I think it's because he was smashed all the time. So he did the, the Saturday Night Super Hammered. Bowl. Well, maybe Dave Grohl was smashed all the time. Well, but, he does like to drink. He but says he that said before shows. He has said in the past bit. that when he used to hang out with Neil Young before the Bridge School benefits, that he realized that you don't have to be trashed all the time to be a rock star because Neil Young would just have people over and they'd be barbecuing and it'd be like a family day. <laughs> And he's like, oh, wait, I don't have to be, like, you know, drunk all the time to be on stage. But maybe he's slipping back into that. Uh, he heard himself sometime between the Saturday night show uh, for the Super Bowl and the day after the Super Bowl. There was somewhere in there. And I, that Super Bowl wasn't that raucous, okay? No, no, it wasn't. I, I, so he played I'm the Super Bowl show there. Saturday night before the Super yeah. Bowl. He played that okay. And then someday on the... Remember that bar in Atascadero that you and I, when we first moved here, we had to go up there for a costume contest for Halloween or something? And oh. I go to run up on stage, and I yes. totally missed a step and did a face plant. That was awesome. That was I before, understand. That was before we were even on the air. They were, like, introducing us. Hey, let's get these new guys up here. They're going to be on the radio in the morning. Starting on Monday. <laughs> you just... Eat ass right I was, there. I was like, Whack. this is our, this is my, I've never been introduced before. I was really excited and I missed the step and I did a face. <laughs> you are the Dave Grohl of disc jockeys, my friend. Jeff and Jeremy in the morning. Don't miss a moment. Subscribe to the podcast on Google, Apple, YouTube, and Podbean by clicking on Jeff and Jeremy at KZOZ.com.